what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're returning thank you so so much for coming back and joining me in another video i feel like i'm always sitting in this exact spot but that's because i feel like this is like kind of the best lighting i mean my couch has the same lighting too but anyways i am it's a little bit later in the day and i'm getting ready to head out but you guys saw i went to church this morning i didn't record any of it because where I was sitting I felt like it was just way too obvious and yeah I was I was a bit nervous I didn't want to record anything but I got to see Pastor Michael Todd today which is so crazy so Pastor Stephen Furtick is my pastor that's the church I go to Elevation it's pretty well known and a lot of people know about it whatever um but I don't get to go to church that often so whenever I do go I'm not gonna lie sometimes I'm a little disappointed when there's like a guest pastor because I don't get to see Pastor Furtick like that often like in person and so today I went and I'm like what a freaking coincidence because I was sitting there and I was a little bit disappointed when they said that you know we would have a guest pastor today whatever whatever and they started describing this person they were like he has a big family he's from Tulsa Oklahoma or whatever they're wherever they're from and I'm like sounds kind of familiar I'm like I know it's not who I think it is and it was Pastor Michael Todd and I was just like kind of like fangirling for a second internally I didn't show it on the outside but like I've been kind of following along with him for like a few years like probably a good I don't even know five six years or so I've been like following along with him and just like I just watching his stuff online and so, you know, I probably would have never gotten the opportunity outside of this to like really see him. So it was just kind of crazy that he was like our guest pastor out of the one day that, you know, I get to go to church or the one Sunday, I not one Sunday, but you know, one of the few Sundays that I get to go to church, he happens to be the guest pastor. Like, that's just kind of crazy. And um, his sermon was really good as well. It was pretty much about, um, I don't know if he used the word damage, damages or... I forget what the exact word that he used, but pretty much talking about like trauma, how trauma does not define who you are, but instead God uses that trauma to share the word of God pretty much through you and through your testimony. So that's like kind of sums up what it was about, but I'm pretty sure by the time this video comes out, it'll probably be online because it's usually like the next Sunday, I think that they post it. So if it is, I'll link it down below. I'm not the best when it comes to like um explaining sermons and verses and stuff in the bible but i'm gonna do my part with sharing it the best way i know how <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much that um it was really good and yeah i'm really happy that i was able to go to church today it was, it was just such a coincidence and it was such a good sermon it was such a good word so definitely god be knowing what you need to hear god knows what you need to hear when you need to hear it he really does so anyways i came back home after church i was supposed to go on a walk but i came back home i was so tired i took a well needed nap and so i'm feeling a lot better now i just finished getting ready we're about to go see a movie i think it's called the creator and i saw a preview for it either like on as a commercial or like maybe when i went to the movies the last time and it looks pretty good so we're gonna go see that and get dinner there and stuff and it's pretty much just gonna be like a chill sunday i have one of my sweatsuits on that i bought last week so very comfortable it's a little bit chilly outside today which i am absolutely loving the fall vibes but it's perfect weather for me to wear my little sweatsuit so yeah we're getting ready to head out in just a few we're gonna go to the movies see that just like a super chill sunday and that'll probably be it for tonight i don't know what we're getting into this week i don't know my schedule is kind of like all thrown off so i have no idea what what we're getting into this week what this week holds but it should be a good one nonetheless so yeah let's get ready and head to the movies Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Yeah. 
last vlogs for you guys on like sunday maybe and yeah it's been a few days it's wednesday now but i'm just like kind of checking in with you guys because the last couple of days like i literally did nothing i mean i did do stuff but like i just did stuff around my apartment really like i've had a really slow week which i feel like last week was kind of a slow week too so i'm kind of loving it because the summertime is just like i just felt like i was always busy but now things are kind of like slowing down you know it's fall time cozy season so anyways i have had kind of a slow week so far um monday between monday and tuesday i really was just like editing to get my last vlog up for you guys so that kind of took me a little bit of time and on tuesday i had some issues with like uploading it sometimes youtube be giving me a hard time <laughs> but i finally got it uploaded and thankfully i did get it up on time for you guys but yeah aside from like that i didn't really do too too much um just like kind of little things here in my apartment like cleaning up and stuff but i didn't like really go out and about until today i did have to go out and run a couple errands so i'm just getting back well i've been back for like a couple hours from um, walmart i just had a couple of things that i needed to pick up and then i came back and made myself some soup some broccoli cheddar soup that i bought when i was at walmart and it's the panera brand and it was really good so i'm done eating now i'm getting ready to head to the park in a little bit i'm gonna take um the pups just to kind of like get them out the house so they can get like some energy out and you know just to like run around you know see other people other dogs for a little bit but yeah we're gonna take them to the park um because it's been a while now that it's like cooling down it's not like super hot outside i think it's like perfect time to before it gets like really cold <laughs> to take them out so yeah i'm getting ready to do that in just a little bit but yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys i think the last time i vlogged anything was on sunday when i went to the movies and we ended up seeing the creator which was really good it was a good movie i i feel like i've seen it in like a preview i mean yeah i feel like i've seen it advertised in either a preview or in a commercial in um or on youtube or whatever but yeah it actually was really good if there's a second one that comes out i would definitely watch it so there's not i feel like a whole lot of good movies out right now in the movie theaters but if you want to go to the movies i feel like it was worth watching like it was a good movie in my opinion so yeah we saw that and that's really it uh yesterday i went to last night i went to McAllister's to get something to eat i haven't been there in forever and i got some soup then too i think i'm just craving soup because of the season um and broccoli cheddar is like my favorite <laughs> but yeah i went there last night and got a little something as well um but yeah other than that i really it's really been like a slow chill week but like i said for tonight we're gonna take the dogs or this evening we're gonna take the dogs to the park so they can like get out of the house and then that's pretty much it for tonight i'm gonna just come back and you know kind of chill get ready for bed um i'll probably do a little bit of editing because i literally have been putting off this um clean with me for like a couple weeks now i haven't even started editing yet so i really need to just like put a dent in it i'm hoping i can get it up for you guys this friday but if not definitely next friday um but i, I need to start <laughs> i need to start so hopefully i can get that started tonight and that'll be pretty much it for tonight and then tomorrow should be a fun day actually um we are going to the reunion tour um for those of you who don't know it's like a concert it's like a christian gospel concert and i'm not sure of everyone who is gonna be there but i know it's gonna be kirk franklin um i can't think of anybody else's names right now <laughs> i can't think of anyone else i could picture their faces but it's gonna be like a few different like christian music artist and it's just all of them and they're going on tour together so we're going to the reunion tour i feel like it's gonna be a good time i mean i like kirk franklin so it's i feel like any of his like performances or whatever is always a good time i went to um his tour that he had with maverick city 
either last year or the year before i can't really remember but that was really that was really fun we had a good time so i don't expect anything less i think it's gonna be a good time but before that lex is gonna come over we're gonna get ready together and then we're gonna go to dinner and yeah then we'll go to the concert so i think it'll be a good night and yeah i'm excited but yeah that's pretty much it i think that i had to kind of update you guys on we're gonna go ahead and get ready in a little bit to head to the park with the pups so before we go to the park there's actually a couple of pairs of shoes that i want to show you guys that i almost forgot about i was supposed to show you guys earlier this week but yeah i forgot but actually i was supposed to show you guys in the last video but then I was like, I'm gonna just wait and show you guys in this video. So let me prop y'all up somewhere so I can show you guys one sec. Okay, I feel like this may not be the best view, but or the best lighting, I mean, but that's what we're working with right now. So I got a few pairs of boots, well, shoes too, just for like the um, well, not shoes, but I got one pair of shoes, two pair of boots for the winter time. So I wanted to, sh to show you guys what I got. So I got two pairs of Uggs and then I got some sneakers. I showed you guys the sneakers actually in my last video, but I'm just including them in this um, little portion because I'm just talking about like the shoes that I got for the fall season. So yeah, I showed you guys in these in my last video, my um, little like dad, chunky dad shoes, my Steve Madden's, but I got these like one of the as one of the pairs of shoes that I wanted for the fall season so I have those I'm getting ready to take it out of the box now because I was waiting until I had like all of them so I could like take a picture but anyways so I got those um and like I said you guys already saw those in my last video but I want to show you guys my Uggs that I got so of course I got the classic chestnut color in the platform which I think are super cute. I have some um other Uggs that are like really old. I've had those things since high school. Like honestly, they're like well over 10 years old. Like that's kind of crazy. And they're actually still in decent condition. Like I can still wear them, but they're not platform and they are a lot taller. And so what I've been doing, like last year I found myself wearing them with a lot of um like wider legged things like jeans or pants and I feel like these will look a lot better with those types of pants or like a looser baggy or jean and so yeah I just feel like these will work out a lot better with the you know look that I'm going for so plus it was just it was definitely time for me to upgrade even though those are still in decent condition it was time for me to upgrade my pair of Uggs so I got a new pair of chestnut Uggs and I, like I said I got the mini I think these are the mini style platform is there anyone here? Classic Ultra Mini Platform is what they are. So I got these and I got mine in a size 7. So I got these ones in a size 7. I wear a 7.5 in women's and they don't have half sizes. So what I did, I just looked at the reviews and a lot of people were saying that these run um, bigger. So I went down to the seven like I went down a half size pretty much to a size seven and they fit perfectly I've already tried them on so I know how they fit and everything so yeah I got those and then I also went ahead and got these Uggs which I think are so cute now I feel like some people are probably gonna think these are ugly but I really like them so I got these ones and these ones are the Taz Ugg braid I don't know what that means but it's like this um what is this material called teddy teddy material because I have like a I have like teddy coats that are kind of like this material so it's like this teddy material and these are a lot shorter than the um ultra minis these are like I don't even know these are more like slip on I guess you can say but these ones are these ones online they said they ran bigger so wait they said they ran smaller so I went up to a size eight and they actually fit perfect so yeah, these ones are um, platform as well, but they're not as platform. You can see the difference as the Ultra Minis. So, yeah, but they're still really cute. Same purpose. I think they'll look really good with, like, wider leg um, pants or jeans. And I just think they look super cozy. They're so cute. Someone said they look like um, house slippers, but I'm going to wear them outside because it's definitely a hard bottom and they could be worn outside <laughs> so yeah I think they're super cute they're a nice neutral color I don't really like that this part is like reddish burgundy but I feel like with how I'm gonna wear them you're not really gonna be able to see that part anyways like it's gonna be covered up so it's whatever 
so yeah those are the pairs of boots that i've gotten so far for the cooler months i still want to get a couple more pairs like i kind of want to get a black um pair of uggs just for like when i'm wearing darker colors um but i probably won't do i don't know if i'll do platform if i'll just do like regular uggs um but yeah i def definitely want to get a black pair and then i definitely need to get a new pair of black booties because my black booties like they're they're from a few years ago but the leather on them it's it wasn't real leather and it, they're just like all tore up so i need some black booties for sure but yeah those are the um shoes that i've gotten so far for this season and um what else i feel like i want to get but yeah there's not really a ton of things that i need for like the cooler months i feel like like maybe a new coat um i definitely need some new jeans and a couple more pairs of shoes like there's not a ton of things that i really need so we'll see um i may still look online just to see like what else they have that's new for this season but there's not a ton of things i need which is good i do have um a good amount of stuff from previous years that i can still when it comes to my like winter time stuff summertime stuff now whenever spring comes back around i'm gonna have to like really get a new wardrobe because none of my summer stuff fits me i feel like or is my style anymore or whatever so whenever springtime comes back around i'm gonna probably need to do some shopping for sure but i feel like the winter the cooler months i'm like good you know as long as i have a good some good like sweatsuits that i can kind of rotate you know i have my boots that i can wear i have a nice coat like i'm good so yeah but that's pretty much it i just wanted to show you guys those real quick because i forgot about them i was supposed to show y'all last week and then i didn't and then i almost forgot again just now and i know i'm not gonna have time tomorrow so yeah i want to show you guys my new shoes real quick so yeah and i will actually try to see if i can link them for you guys as well if you're interested in my like fall winter shoe attire i'll link them if you are interested in any of them so yeah let's go ahead and head to the park now Hi, mamas.
it's the next day um, as you can see I spent the morning today just kind of getting my place together tidying up just a little bit not like a super deep cleaning or anything because I kind of recently just deep cleaned um, but just like a little tidy up it wasn't like super messy or anything um, so yeah I spent my morning doing that I went out and ran a couple of errands I just kind of threw on some sweats and this hat because I'm getting ready to get ready now for the reunion tour me and Lex are gonna go and get something to eat and then we're actually gonna take the train probably park at like a train station and then take the train uptown just because with parking that's just like easier for us to do so yeah we'll probably meet the other girls at the train station and then ride um, uptown together so yeah, I think it is at, I don't know if it's at, at Spectrum or if it's at, um, I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Maybe Spectrum, I'm not sure. But it's just easier, I think, to take the train. So that's what we are doing. And yeah, Lex is actually on the way now. I have a couple of hours, a little over a couple of hours actually to get ready. But I'm getting ready to take the pups out real quick. And then when I come back in, I'm going to start getting ready. And I do want to do like a little bit of makeup. I don't know if I want to do like a full face um but or if i just want to do like my brows and maybe my lashes i'm thinking about if i have time to try those like little lashes that i bought from amazon a couple weeks ago i think i might want to try those and kind of see how they look um we'll see i'm not sure how much makeup i'm gonna do i might just do like a little bit of something you know a little concealer and a little bit of blush and bronzer kind of situation but yeah we'll see and then yeah then we're gonna get ready so i will show you guys a little bit of our getting ready process and of course i'll show you like what i'm wearing after i already have my outfit picked out i'm just gonna wear it. it's like kind of like cool outside it's not cold but it i feel like it will probably get chilly tonight so i have like a it's very a br very breezy shirt but it's long sleeve and I'm going to wear that just with like some leather pants and it's all brown so it's fitting for the season. So yeah, I think it should be cute. I don't know what shoes I'm wearing yet. I kind of don't want to wear heels but like I feel like the only thing that will really go with my outfit are like these boot, like these little booties that I have which are heels. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and we'll kind of speed this up for you guys. And yeah, I'll catch up with y'all once I'm done.
guys so we're getting ready to head out um i just have on this shirt i got this maybe last year or the year before from i think pretty little thing if i'm not mistaken and then i have these pants on that these leather um brown leather pants i think are from j lux label ain't that what that no i think there might be from meshki they might be meshki i don't know and then my boots I, these are old too and then my little booties um i have had for a while as well maybe like a year or two so yeah that's what i'm wearing i have on my usual gold jewelry and accessories and whatnot but yeah we're kind of running late we're rushing out of here we're gonna head to get something to eat and then we're gonna go to the reunion tour so change of plans we because we're running late we just decided to stop at bojangles on the way and so we're waiting on our food now they're getting ready to bring it out in a second and then we're gonna be we're gonna kind of eat in the car and then we're gonna be on the way to the reunion tour all right so i got my bojangles i just had a chicken supreme combo and then a sweet tea so we're gonna eat real quick and i'll see y'all at the concert just got back you guys from the reunion tour and I had such a great time I'm getting ready to take my makeup off I already took all my jewelry off and stuff and I'm getting ready to change into something comfortable so that I can chill relax for a little bit before I'm ready to go to sleep but yeah I wanted to just come on and kind of talk about how much fun we had today I had a good time I feel like it's always even like when I go to church and stuff it's just always a good time when you get into you know a building or just wherever with around a lot of you know like-minded people and just worshiping and just just celebrating just worshiping God and like thanking him and it was just a great time and I also enjoyed it because they sung like or did a lot of like my favorite gospel songs as well like songs that I grew up listening to so it was a good time I had fun and I'm not gonna lie I'm tired like I was not expecting it to end as late as it did. I think it's like, I don't know the exact time. I don't have my phone right on me, but I, I know it's like 11 something. Like it definitely ended. No, it's probably like after midnight by now. Cause it ended, no, it's probably 11 something. It ended at like 10 45, I think is when we left, which I feel like that's a long time. 
like i was not expecting it to go on that long only because i guess i thought it would be like more like older people so i didn't think that they were going to be going that late but they did it was like a normal time of like a normal concert so but yeah i'm back home like i said i'm getting ready to wind down take my makeup off but i wanted to come on and end this video out for you guys i had such a great great time oh i didn't even get to talk about my ponytail earlier um i put this ponytail in it's actually from amazon so if i can i will link it for you guys and also anything like the shoes that i mentioned if i can link anything else um i'll link those for you as well all my shoes and stuff but yeah ponytails from amazon and this is like the natural curl pattern that it came in i didn't do anything to it i believe it is synthetic though you can still put heat to it but just not like up to a certain temperature but i kind of like the natural i got it um in this like wavy um texture because i feel like it matches kind of my hair when i have it slicked down like my hair doesn't like slick all the way down it's kind of like wavy <laughs> if that makes sense and so i feel like it kind of blends better versus getting like a all the way straight um ponytail so yeah so yeah that's pretty much it i really liked it though i like how it came up it was very easy to put on you just like clip it in and then they already come with the piece that's separate that you wrap around so it was very easy to install definitely a very quick easy like everyday kind of ponytail so yeah i'll link it if you guys are interested but yeah that's pretty much it for this video you guys i'm getting ready to end it off here i hope you guys enjoyed of course as always if you do don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and do all the things girl god bless i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video bye y'all